us about your characters. Tell us about your characters, yes, please. Yes, of course. Um, I'm Jamie Chun. My character's name is Blink. And on our show, she's also known as Clarice Fong, but her alias is Clarice Ferguson, which is a nod to the actual character's name. Okay. But so, what a real alias is. Well, what, what <laughs> does it? Blink. No. <laughs> What is your power? So my power is I can tear space in order to open portals. So you can travel oh. through portals. Hopefully you'll be able to send different objects through portals. You can use that energy to like, I don't know. <laughs> so you <laughs> blink yeah, and yeah, you've gone yeah, like, you know, You'll be really good at tennis. <laughs> yeah. um, Amazing at tennis. Really good at tennis. That's it. I play up, uh, I'm in Demand, I play Polaris, her birth name is Lana Dane, and she controls magnets, magnetism, uh, any metal, she can stop bullets, she can crash cars, she can do all this stuff, she kind of has anger issues, so some of those things happen. I mean, if you're um, Magneto's daughter, then you've got anger issues. Um, anger issues. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's about it. So in the comics, both of your characters actually at one point or another are captured, and like your character has is like mind controlled, and your character just needs to try to figure out what she's gonna do yeah. in order to get out of the situation. So when um, the pilot starts, do we start with you guys kind of in that environment of being captured, or do we start just seeing you uh, in your normal kind of environments before oh, no. you get captured? Guys? <laughs> Definitely not normal environment. Okay. okay, we are on the run from the first second of okay. the pilot uh, till. The end of the season. Are you going to have some normal moments? <laughs> I don't think so. I think there are little snippets of yes. normal moments. And, and as serious as the show is, there is a, a bit of comedy, you know? Oh, like, sure. It's, there's something, that's why I love it so much. It's not all just so serious. I mean, yeah, Matt and are showing really knows how to put the dark humor in the serious situation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's, it's really quite fun. But yeah, we, we literally are on the run, and it's exhausting. <laughs> Uh, it seems like at the start of the show, your character is still like learning how to use her powers. Yes. Um, so what is that learning curve like for you, and how is it different for you? Well, uh, Blois is already an expert at her powers. Um, <laughs> she's, she's like really top strong. Of her class. She's yeah. Uh, no, she is. She is actually powerful, and I think she, she got her powers early on. Like, so she's got a long time of uh, uh, change and work. Them. And I think uh, what's interesting about Polaris, uh, which is different from most of the other characters we'll see in the season, is when she discovered her powers, she wasn't ashamed at all. Which is shame is a big deep part of what mutants go through because again they're persecuted for being different from the beasts they're born with. But she was loud and proud since she was a kid. Um, so I think she, that's why she, she's stronger and more confident about this. And for Blink? Well, I think, you know, we've seen the, the other version of Blink in X-Men, Days of Future Past, where she can, like, open portals, like, seamlessly. She makes it look so cool, too, you know? But what's interesting with, with this, this version of Blink is that she's got a lot of attitude. She has the markings of a mutant. She does have a lot of attitude. <laughs> she has attitude. You know, she has the markings of a mutant. She was never able to hide, you know, that she was a mutant. And so she kind of has this, like, kind of, like, standoff attitude. And she's been really quite independent and indifferent. That's not her superpower. Her superpower is to, is to open portals. And I think it's quite fun, like, figuring out what she can and cannot do. Like, pushing her to the limit. And it's fun to see how her power grows and changes throughout the series. But I think that's when snippet of like why the fans are going to love it because yeah I also think it's interesting what you said uh, the girls mutants us, us two uh, have things physically on us that we can't, can't hide that we're mutants mm -hmm. specifically Blink but also Blair's um, the boys can completely hide that they're mutants they go into the world they seem normal when we go in public people uh, it's very they know they sexism know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but exactly. also it's really it's quite fun because they are too sassy and dependent. Oh, like, for sure. And that I think it's women bad attitude. They have yeah. bad attitudes. No, just kidding. Um, but what I think is I think Blink's a little bit more funny than Polaris is. Polaris is just like uh, negatron. Um. Well, how important is uh, the political subtext for both your characters? And uh, for yourselves, because there's an underground railroad element to the story you're in that U.S. daughter, but also the whole re the refugees subtext is even more important. Oh, yeah, important. absolutely. I mean, in, throughout history and television shows, there always have been a very clear correlation between, you know, current events and the show and the storyline of the show, like for MASH, you know, during the Korean War. But with us, it's, it's extremely important. I think that's why Matt wanted to create the show um, and highlight it. It's it's 
I think it's important to show. Yeah, I'm gonna say straight up. You guys are shows about bigotry. I'm sorry. I didn't uh, we see Blink in the first scene running for her life. A, a cop could easily kill her dad with zero penalty prison because of prejudice, because of prejudgment for something people are uncomfortable with, that they don't understand, uh, because people are born with this thing. And that is literally where we live. And it is heartbreaking, but I hope this show like throws up a mirror on society because it is it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's worth talking about. You know, it is worth talking about, and 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 it, it's so important. And we're shooting in Atlanta, which is, is we love like we love filming in Georgia. It was, it was such a, a big part of the civil rights movement and that part of the United States. And and yeah, our 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 mutant underground is based on the Underground Railroad. I mean, we're not trying to hide it. We're not, not being cute. Like this is for real. These are the issues we want to talk about. Yeah, and it's certainly not comparable to like what people are actually no, not even you know going through. But it's it's fun. Not fun, excuse me. Sorry, it's not fun. I think it's it makes our show quite different because we are highlighting mm -hmm. those current event issues. Thank you. Thank you so much. You gotta end on that. That's the best. You guys.